we continue our coverage of the SCI UK 2025. I am very pleased to meet again with uh, Jeff Searle, Program Director for Future Business at BA Systems uh, Maritime. Jeff, uh, great to see you again. Yeah, and you, Xavier. Thank you for coming along. The reason I wanted to uh, briefly meet with you uh, was to discuss well the, the good news for BAE Systems Maritime uh, regarding the Type 26 uh, frigate uh, for a northern European uh, country. Yes, in, indeed. Obviously, the announcement uh, a week or so ago by Norway, uh, they've selected the UK as their strategic partner for their future frigate program is great news. And it means we'll be delivering um, five Type 26 ships to Norway as part of an overall program between the UK and, and Norway over the coming years. So it's great news for both Norway and the UK. And uh, these ships uh, will be uh, built in uh, Scotland, uh, or at least the, the, the first few ones, is that correct? Yes, all, all, the, all of the five ships will be built in, in Scotland, in our shipyards in Glasgow. So effectively we'll, we'll, we'll go to a continuous production run of 13 ships um, and, and, and deliver to both the UK and Norway off that production line. You'll be able to uh, scale up uh, production at your uh, facility in Glasgow. Yes, certainly. We, we're already we already have been investing a, a lot in our production facilities and our capability in Glasgow. We're, we're very proud of the investments we've made. Um, we've been investing in our plant and our manufacturing capability, and, and recently opened uh, a brand new large ship assembly hall, which allows us to build two ships side by side under cover at the same time. So, th so that's already enabling us to increase our rate of production. Um, we, we'll, 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 we'll get to delivering a ship every 12 months out of Glasgow. And, and as we go through, we'll look to, look to increase our capacity further. So, so yes, absolutely, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's great news for the, uh, for the, for the programme overall. Yeah, Jeff, besides uh, Norway, so you're now already well, fully in production for three other countries, namely well, the UK here, uh, Canada and uh, Australia. Uh, can you give us a brief overview of the current status of uh, each programs in each country? Yes, certainly. We've got um, five Type 26 ships in build in the UK at the moment. Um, two of them have already been launched and uh, are in their final phases of fitting out in the first to class HMS Glasgow um, is, is preparing to go on sea trials. Um, we have uh, the first to class in both Australia and Canada now in production. So, so effectively, we've got seven seven ships globally now in production, and that rate will obviously increase as we go through the go through the next few years. And uh, well, in your opinion, what uh, led to that success for the Type 26 or global combat ship, as it used to be known, uh, design? Well, I think two, two things. First of all, the strategic relationship between the UK and Norway, and that, that's been really important to Norway, that they're joining a, joining a program as a strategic partner. And obviously, we share the same operational area of the, of the North Atlantic, the Norwegian Sea. Um, we, we, we share a lot of uh, your Navy to Navy activity, and, and we, we are very closely linked economically and with energy. Um, so that was important. And then secondly, the capability of the ship. You know, Type 26 is, is or will be the most advanced anti-submarine warfare ship in, in the world. And you know, we share that same threat in, in the high north and in, in the North Atlantic. And, and this will enable Norway and the UK to work together to deliver that NATO anti-submarine warfare capability to protect NATO's northern flank. So the combination of the strategic partnership and, and the, the capability of the ship I think is what's been really important to Norway in making their, making their selection. All right, Jeff, thank you very much. Thank you, pleasure to see you again.